doing it since the last pattern video I made on Mid Journey is literally right after I posted that video they announced the new V5 version was going to have tile feature in it which is like brilliant because that's the one thing that I wanted. V5 is amazing. I'm sure you must have seen lots and lots of the images coming from it. They really it does really really well with more of the photographic images. I think rather than the illustrated images which were seem did seem to be better in version 4. But anyway it's got the tile feature so let's just see what we can do with it. I have done some already. Some were okay. Some were not so okay. <laughs> I tried doing a beetle and it didn't really do that very well and it, it kind of does the, the more simple images but and it recognizes William Morris it seems to do William Morris quite well it's a very sort of familiar typical William Morris style I've got a chair that looks very similar to that but anyway I thought I might revive some of my really really old attempts at doing tile from last year and see how it upgrades them and try some different ones so I've got a couple of examples that I've sort of prepared now this one here let's try this this is from I actually created some products with this one and it was one of my favorite patterns I think I did it in version oh gosh was it test it might have been the test one but I think it was about when was it It was probably about October last year so beautiful datura purple oh now that's one thing with version 5 see how we've got just lots and lots of random words divided up with commas that worked for the earlier versions but version 5 I think that's working on a natural language model and so it likes more prose more descriptions more information basically so I might have to add a few bits in here so beautiful Datura flower let's say white with purple center and shades of blue seamless pattern for craft paper intricate details I'll take off the nightshade flowers because I think that's going to confuse it so then we've got the tile the chaos 60s we want each one in the grid looking differently I've done style 250 so that's not too manic style q2 because we want the quality good up beta I think that's it so let's see what it comes up with so a another one that I did last year and I just didn't really get a good result from was I wanted in the vintage community I sell vintage clothes by the way there's this really really famous pattern of 19 I think it's 1930s or 40s pattern and it's floral on a black background with a white spider web interspersed between the clusters of flowers it's so rare and everyone loves it and I think somebody's actually done a copy of it so you can get it now but before they did that it was just like oh everybody was after it so I was trying to create something along those lines last year and I just couldn't get MJ to do it so let's give that a try as well so I've done a uh, beautiful powder blue roses with delicate silken cobwebs in the space between the blooms the gossamer web threads are glistening like diamonds against a black background in the style of Art Nouveau wallpaper all right so let's copy that paste go and let's see what it's given us well it's kind of given us Datora ish it's a lot more like bindweed <laughs> than Datora. Interesting. I like number one the best. Let's give that a re-roll. Let's see what it comes up with. With me spidery blooms and let's also try a I collect them you know those vintage black lacquer things bowls and plates with the sort of polish or russian colorful paintings with gold on them i absolutely love them i collect a lot of them i'm sure they've got a name something i'm not even going to attempt to pronounce but let's try and get something like that so i've done this one here sort of traditional russian folk art hand painted floral design on black background with gold highlights so let's try that i'm just doing these basically on square tiles for now but the other brilliant thing with this version 5 is you can do any aspect ratio you like so that's brilliant so you can do long thin strips for banners to go on your you know the top of the website or banner adverts or anything like that you can do really really tall ones some people have been creating some like really tall kind of spooky buildings which look brilliant or you know lots of things piled on top of one another so 
it's very very tall and thin so yes so we're not hindered by aspect ratio so that's good so yeah they're okay they're kind of a bit bland aren't they they're not really they're not really exciting me much so let's have a look see what we've got with the spider webs yeah mm, it's not really what i was after i i think you know for illustration sort of purposes v5 isn't as good as v4 so it's just a shame that v4 didn't have the tile now oh, that's quite nice i like number three that's quite good let's upscale number three now watch this will upscale really quickly because they're already i think something like 10 50 pixels save that wish i could remember well it's not that i don't remember it it's that i can't pronounce it into the k it's like cocklover or something like that I'm sure i've pronounced it hideously wrong so let's save that one where were we well, I don't really like what it's doing with the Datora flower. That's just really boring. I'm sure it can do a better job with that. So let's give that another go. So something it does seem to do well is peonies. Let's try that. So I've got beautiful peonies illustration, sharp focus with hyper detail inside of a toile de jouet fabric pattern. Now I tried that earlier and it didn't do the toile de jouet. Didn't really understand that. So I think it probably needs training on what that actually is. But let's see what it makes of it this time. It looks promising, doesn't it? At this stage, as it's sort of coming up, you think, oh, that could be turning out just right. But then sometimes it just does something weird right at the end. So what have we got here? Is it done? Yeah, just what I said. It does something weird right at the end. So it had promise, didn't it? And then it just went, no, I'm just going to go really weird no i don't like those either although number one's quite nice let's upscale that one and if that had actual roses between the cobwebs instead of splodges that might have been quite nice as well see what i mean about the peonies <laughs> he loves them so it's done that really nicely so let's do number two i like number two it's nice let's upscale that right so let's save these Okay, now what I would do next is upscale them properly. I use on one to upscale, but I think you can get some, I think if you Google, I think there's quite a lot online that you can try. The one I use though has a good sort of sharpener. Okay, that's made it a little bit sharper. Save that. So this one that I'm on is called Upscale Media. So yeah, they're easy enough to find. Right now, what I thought I'd do is come over to Contrado. And these are based in London, which is great because everything's made from scratch in London. They do clothing and accessories and all sorts of things. They're quite expensive, but the fact that everything's made from scratch is quite good. So I've got wallpaper here. So let's start with a repeat pattern and we'll do the transform peonies for a start let's see what that looks like so it's just a straight block click that one peak pattern how big do we want it that's kind of good isn't it and then can we see there's some mock-ups there so it looks better bigger i think doesn't it yeah wild that's come out quite good isn't it wow so we like that save image as cool so yeah just for kind of like showing you what it looks like so then let's replace the image and try the datura see what that one looks like now that's probably going to look better smaller is it? oh no that oh does that look sweet <laughs> the colors actually work with their mock-up there so that's good isn't it actually i'm liking it now now i actually see it on the wall looks quite good doesn't it Let's save that and let's try the that one this one might look a bit weird it's not really a wallpaper sort of pattern is it let's do it bigger that's better yeah it's kind of cool though isn't it wow gosh can you imagine drive you nuts mind you i'd be quite good in a bathroom or something excellent so let's see what else they've got that we could play with so that was the in the homeware got wall decor soft furnishings and all that malarkey but they also do clothes so if we go to underwear and nightwear and let's do some luxury pajamas oh yeah start design so luxury pajama bottoms wow 139 quid for a pair of pajama bottoms like i said they are pretty pricey let's try that so if we i think we need to bring that make the pattern repeat basic pattern center it bring the scale down try that that's too small let's just have a look 
we could almost do that at a bigger size really so we've got pattern basic pattern let's do that bigger and see what that looks like yeah i don't really like their mock-up for clothes actually it's not as good as the wallpaper is it so but anyway you could try other um other places there's like printful and printify i'm sure they must do patterns and stuff like that as well but anyway that was pretty quick to do wasn't it we created a nice pattern and then we went and made some wallpaper out of it i'm just trying to figure out how i can leave this and then go back to where i was because they do scarves as well but uh let, let's go to the stationery and just do a, a notebook that's probably enough something completely different on the back so yeah that looks kind of nice as well doesn't it it's all right still pretty basic mock-ups though it's a shame they don't do sort of mock-ups you know like proper mock-ups with in situ kind of thing so that would cost you 22 quid for a notebook quite pricey right i hope that was fun having a quick squeeze with version 5 it's good that it does tile i think you just gotta have a play with it as always just trying to figure out the different styles and everything that it can do like I say that it does like Art Nouveau, it does like William Morris. I tried Aubrey Beardsley as well and that was a bit pear-shaped. This was Clarice Cliff kind of design which isn't really. <laughs> colours are quite nice but it's not really Clary's Cliff. This was my first attempt at Clary's Cliff which is like oh my god what's happening there and then those were the ones that I did with the version 4 so that came out the best really didn't it. So yeah oh no that was quite good. It does the sort of more blousy flowers it does really well. Anyway that's it for now. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. I'd love you to like and subscribe. It will really help my channel.